What is up everybody? Elijah from Hoosier Pools here today. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. I am super excited because we are going to be comparing two Topps Heritage Baseball Mega Boxes. This one here is from Target. This one is from Walmart. We're going to talk about the differences, the pros and cons, and then see which one will be better in the end. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, everybody, here we go. We have our two Mega Box. This one right here is the Target exclusive. Um, and I'm just going to point out the biggest differences. So I have the Target on the bottom, Walmart on top. You get 135 total cards in the Walmart box and 153 total cards in the Target box. So you get two extra packs in the Target box. Now this is usually the biggest um, attraction to people picking the Walmart over the Target. You get three exclusive blue chrome sparkle cards in the Walmart box as opposed to the Target box, which you get three exclusive red bordered cards. Now, in my personal opinion, the blue sparkle is definitely a whole lot better than the uh, just the plain red border cards. Um, but I wanna know what you guys think. We're gonna go ahead and get right into this. Um, I'm really excited to, to open these. I love the Mega Box format. Um, it's usually a pretty decent value. Um, there's a ton of packs in here. Yeah, this is crazy. So this is like, you know, the price of two blaster boxes. These retail um, from like 40 to $50, uh, depending on where you get them. So this has a ton of packs, a ton of value, and I'm super excited to get right into this. So we're not gonna waste any time because this is gonna be a little bit longer of a video. So I'm gonna go ahead Go through it a little bit quicker. We got James Outman. Um, I will be going back through um, in between uh, each box, looking for you know any SPs or um, you know possible like color swaps. But there's a ton of packs to get through, so we're gonna see um, how we do. We got Spencer Strider. It sucks that he's out for the rest of the year. We have news flashbacks. Margaret Thatcher becomes the first British Conservative Party's first woman leader so 1974 flashback that's pretty cool i i love the design it's fantastic it's a really nice blend of colors We've got luis arise alec manoa it looks like we have a sp coming up here so we have bailey falter um if you watched my review on the and then we got ellie de la cruz so bailey falter We'll put him there. We'll put Ellie uh, in a sleeve real quick. But the the blasters that I opened um, didn't get anything crazy. No numbered cards. And of course the short print list is one through 100 this year instead of um, like the four to 500. Christian Encarnacion Strand, that's a good uh, rookie right there. We got Alec, Alex Miller Cobb for the Giants. So already two low number short prints. But I'm excited to see what kind of value this has, you know, compared to the Walmart version, compared to the blaster boxes. We've got Key Brian, Samad Taylor, Manny Machado, Carlos Correa. We have New Age Performers, Ronald Acuna Jr. That's pretty sweet. And this is gonna be our Exclusive red border, I believe. It's going to be Bryson Stott. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I think, I mean, that's... I don't know if the border is going to be all red. I'm just going to put it right there because we're supposed to get three exclusive red border cards. Um, so we'll see what, what they actually look like since there's a ton of color in here. Rafaela, Francisco Alvarez... We got Lars, Ian Happ, Ben Joyce, and Tony Gonsolin. So if you are a set collector, um, I really enjoyed this set. I'm thinking about putting it together. This is definitely not a bad price point to try to, you know, put your put your set together. 1975, then and now, you get 200, like 250 cards, I think. Out of the target box so that is a lot so definitely getting a lot of cards out of here 
Hunter Goodman. And then if you want to know how to find um, if your card is like a color swap, it's gonna have the little wording of whatever variation it is in this little 28 box. So we got Chris Lee Stratton, another SP, and then Curtis Mead. So decent rookie there. And uh, I apologize if I'm going a little bit fast, but um, I know you guys have seen probably a lot of Heritage opened already. We got Dansby for my PC. So I'm not trying to take too much time. We got Clay Holmes and Noel V. Marte because there is a ton of packs. There's a lot of base. There's Chris Morell. That's going in my PC. It's the first time I've seen him. Spencer Steer, cup card. Nick Lofton. We have Reds Clinch into the baseball flashbacks and Pete Crow Armstrong. So that's a sweet PC card. Uh, I forgot that he was going to be featured in this set. Um, he's not starting anymore right now. He had a, uh, a lot of troubles at the plate last year. Um, he's a fantastic defensive player, but really, really struggled at the plate. We have Zach Neto, Patrick Bailey, Tariq Skubal, CJ Abrams. This is a little uh, insert, like the 75 insert, and Quinn Priester. So definitely, you know, um, a lot of base. Definitely a lot of base. Not sure if we've seen our red border yet. I don't think that Bryson Stott is the red border. Hayden Wesneski, Junior Caminero. That's a good uh, rookie. We have Crime Dog. That is cool. We have Crime Dog from the Zoo sticker. I really like these. Fred McGriff. That's cool. Austin Hayes which is number 13, so that is another SP, and Salvi Perez, the big man. All right, let me know uh, if you guys have picked any of this up. We got Henry Davis, so we'll put him in the, uh, the good rookie pile. Riley Green. I'm going to see if we can, no one Arenado, maybe see if we can pull a, an auto out of here, maybe a numbered card. You know, out of two mega boxes, I would... Like to pull a numbered card. Nico Horner. Zach Geloff, another, another good rookie. He's pretty solid. We have Basabe, Clark Schmidt, Brandon Drury. It's going to be our short print. We have Most Valuable Players. That's a cool card. And then I believe this is the Red Border. It says White Border in the top of the box there. Um, but I, be I believe this is like, pretty sure this is the red border. It's like the exact same as the Bryson Stott. We will see once we pull the third one. I'm pretty sure those are our red borders. And that's where, you know, you can really see why people like the blue sparkle over the red borders, Josh Young. Um, Cause the blue sparkle, it's, it's a chrome. It's a sweet Mike Trout. It's chrome, it's sparkly, it's shiny. This feels a little bit heavy. I don't know, we'll see. We got Colton Kowser, Trevor Larnick, Willie Adamas, Jordan Lawler, Nolan, not even to try to pronounce his last name, and then 1997 Most Valuable Players. This one says White Border as well, so that's kind of interesting. I'm pretty sure that's our last red border so the red border is really underwhelming honestly we got jordan adams charlie blackman bobby witt jr that's a sweet shot right there dane myers byron buxton trent grisham robin yount that's a cool card stuart fairchild number 30 and then brian bellow so i'm gonna go through this real quick make sure we didn't miss any uh special cards and we're gonna get on to the next one all right, so that was all we got out of the uh, Target exclusive box. Um, ton of base. There were, I went back through, there was no variations um, in there. So we're going to see if the Walmart box uh, maybe has a little bit better odds for us, maybe. I mean, we did get the Ellie. That's pretty sweet. That's a, uh, it's a great looking card. I love the, uh, the colors, you know pink and the yellow 
He's playing pretty well. So let's see. We got Yelich starting us off. Joey Votto, Clark Schmidt, Jim Palmer in the throwback, and Lou Bob. Let me know what your best pull has been from this set. I usually have, see, here's the, uh, here's that blue sparkle creeping out from there, and it's so much better. It is so much better than the, uh, the red border. I'm sorry. We got a Dodger, Shohei Otani. That is sick. That is a sick card. In the blue color match, a little bit OC, but that's all right. But I mean, come on, look at... I feel like Target should be like a red sparkle. This just looks like a you know regular base card. Check this out. The Shohei. The, uh, some of the stuff that's coming out with that, uh, the whole gambling thing with Ipe, his uh, translator, is completely wild. That stuff is wild. So, uh, you know, Shohei in, uh, in a bit of controversy. I know, I think recently, the most recent news that he was like exonerated, We've got Mauricio Dubon, Andrew Abbott. But yeah, that's a, uh, that's a, that's a mess. That's a great shot. The, uh, the photography has been pretty great in this set. It's a great shot of Shohei. We got Emerson Hancock, Anthony Santander. I believe this is a all white border. Yeah, so it says white border right there above the nine. So that's kind of cool, like little variation. I know that the hobby boxes have um, like hobby exclusive all white borders. It's kind of cool. Um, I'm not super, super, you know, into it, but we got Juan Soto. He's been playing really, really well. I just hope that my Cubs can make the playoffs. We got a another blue sparkle back here. We got Polar Pete, Garrett Cole, Kikuchi. If you uh, watch any of Striker Breaks videos, you know that's his favorite guy. We got Chicago Cubs. That's sweet. That's going in the PC. Oh, and it's a blue. So this is a blue. This parallel is a lot more rare um, than the other zoo, like animal ones. So that's pretty cool. You know, it's it's a sticker, so it's not anything crazy, but it's still a lot of fun. Just flung Ellie off there. All right, so let's see who we got. We have CJ Abrams, and all these cards are so cool. If they made like a Heritage Chrome set, I would be hook, line, and sinker because the blue Chromes are sweet. Patrick Wisdom, that's my guy as well. Taj Bradley, Raphael Devers, and Zach Eflin. So, trying to get through this. Going to see if, you know, there's... I feel that, you know, with... How much these are, you know, I, I feel like there should, you know, at least be like a guaranteed number card. There's Jordan Wicks, another uh, one of my PC rookies. I mean, 50 bucks for a mega box. Um, I feel like, yeah, it, it should guarantee like a numbered card or maybe even a variation. Jordan Lawler, Dane Myers. We have the Detroit Tigers. I really like those stickers. Let me know what you guys think. Michael Harris, watching one fly out of the park. But you do get a ton of packs, so just ruin the last card. We got Tovar, Torkelson. Yeah, so that Bryson Stott, this is the regular color. So the Bryson Stott was the red exclusive. So pretty underwhelming, unfortunately. And then didn't seem like there was a whole lot that like made up for it. Dansby Swanson, Ian Happ, got a couple of my cubbies in here. Garrett Mitchell. All right. Getting through the last bit of this. Let's see if we can pull another Ellie, maybe. Gavin Lux. We got Strider. Mason Wynn. I mean, either way, I'm probably going to be pretty close to finishing the set after just two blasters. 
and two mega boxes. Jared Kelnick in a Braves uniform still throws me off. That's a great shot of Dusty Baker. Um, I love Dusty. He was a uh, manager for the Cubs for a long time. We got Jazz, Michael Soroka, Trey Turner. Let's see who we got. Reds. Joey Votto. It was the wrong red. So that's still pretty cool. But I thought maybe we had a chance. Maybe, just maybe. All right, last two packs. Thank you so much for watching this. I truly appreciate it. Thanks so much for tuning in. Jorge Soler, 64 Apache helicopter, makes its first flight. Orlando Arcia. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you would like to, I'd really appreciate it. Really hope this helps you out to see if you want to, you know, pick this up or maybe leave it. We got Bo. Great looking card. All right. So we're going to recap real quick. All right, everybody. Here we go. Quick recap. So these are all of our SPs. Um, we got, I think, like 12 or 13 of them. The uh, 0 through 100. Um, here are our uh, retail exclusive red borders and then the blue sparkles. The blue sparkles are sick. And then uh, we hit some of the zoo stickers, Crime Dog, Detroit Tigers, as well as the blue border Chicago Cubs, which is uh, pretty rare. We also got this Anthony Santander uh, white border, which is uh, also not, uh, not too easy to hit. And then Pete Crow Armstrong, Ellie De La Cruz, um, this rookie, which actually looks pretty sharp. And then probably the best card was this uh, Shohei Otani blue uh sparkle color match but uh let me know what you think uh, i think my heritage luck may have finally run out but i had an absolute blast showing you guys what's in these boxes so as always we're going to keep growing keep making videos and until next time we'll see you later